Hey guys, it's Claudia, and on the screen you are seeing the sketch me and Emma are using um, for, well, this episode of Sketch It Out. And um, if you want to check out Emma's video, uh, you should go to Polly's Papercraft on YouTube. <laughs> um, I will link it probably on the screen and in the description. And um, I chose this week's sketch, and it's from the My Scraps and More um, sketches. I think it's a block that they have, they do challenges and then you can win prizes and stuff. And um, I was just kind of Googling uh, scrapbook sketches and um, I came across this one. And I really uh, thought it would be a nice one to do. So I emailed it to Emma and she thought it was a nice one as well. So um, for this one I'm using the Make Homes Confetti Collection um, because I wanted to use it up and um, I thought that by using a sketch it would help me bring um, some more variety into the layouts I've made so far, or at least that was the idea. And, um, you know, if you can see the sketches on the left, you can kind of see that um, there's a big piece. And I'm just kind of cutting it around my photo uh, to make sure that it's going to fit. Because, um, you know, the sketch said that it had to be the photo, but um, obviously I'm not going to cut my photo into a banner shape. So I'm just using um, a a piece of paper to um, make that banner shape and now I'm just kind of uh, mounting my photo on this vellum um, piece of paper with the gold foil starts at the stars I'm already messing up my words and this is only the second voiceover I'm doing today um, and I'm just cutting some banners uh, some are uh, scraps that I had on my desk and others like this one I'm just pulling out with the 6x6 paper pad and um, just cut them and I'm not going to use a different pattern for all the banners um, mostly because I'm just too lazy to pull out a paper and then just cut it up because I'm not sure if I want to use it for um, layering for another layout because I do have um, a, a decent amount of um, embellishments and stuff left in this collection so I'm just pulling it there in the, you know this is basically going to be my base for the layout as you can see, it's the banner, and then uh, the title goes at the bottom right. So, you know, there's the kind of like the main things. And of course, with sketches, you can still kind of, you know, put your own spin on it and do your own thing. So, um, but I had a good time uh, doing this one. It, it was a lot of fun. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to stick down the banner pieces that I had p put on my layout because um, that is where I want them to go. And, um, you know, I recorded a bunch of layouts and this is like a layout that I did after I used a white cardstock as a background. And honestly, uh, using white cardstock and then going back to pattern paper, for me, it was like such a big difference. Um, even though it's weird because before I would pretty much always use pattern paper as my background. But, uh, you know, I want to make sure that I just switch it up between the two because otherwise it's going to feel really weird and, um... I knew that for the sketch I wanted to use a pen and paper. I debated between using white cardstock or not. And um, this layout, it would have worked without white cardstock, but I don't want to make layouts on white cardstock over and over again. But that's just for me personally, because pen and paper is my thing and will probably always be my thing. And um, now I'm going to put some foam tape up on my photo to make it stand out on my page a little bit because I'm not sure if I want to layer chipboard pieces behind it or whatnot so it's easier if it's just standing up on the page and here I just pull out some of my pieces and kind of play around with it and looking back I think that floral piece looks really nice but for some reason uh, I felt like it covered up the banner too much and um, the black bow uh, doesn't make it up on the page but actually when I'm done uh, I looked back at it and I didn't like it so the piece that I put in there I got rid of that and then I did end up putting that black bow um, where you saw it just now if that makes any sense <laughs> but um yeah so I wanted to have a little bit more definition to the banner so I'm just kind of outlining it with some pencils so it's not like super in your face but you will see in the close-up so you can see uh, that I outlined them or outlined I don't even know how to talk anymore um, and uh, I found that was just nice I would have done it maybe with grey um, fine liner but I couldn't find it anywhere <laughs> I have no clue where it is and black would be too much like too too dark 
Um, and the ephemera piece that I cut in half, I am sticking down right now, but um, in the end, which is like the day after I recorded this, I didn't like it, so I just ripped it off again because I just felt like it just looked better without. So, you know, in the final uh, close-up images, you will see that that is gone. <laughs> and now I'm just sticking down my photo. I'm still playing around with the floral piece, but here I just finally decide, no, it's not going to work, and just put it back. And I'm also going to de delete, what is this Photoshop? <laughs> I'm also going to get rid of that um, piece that I just stuck down. And what am I doing? I have no clue what I'm doing right here. Alright, so I'm pulling out the chipboard pieces, and... Um, I tried to make this bow work and I just thought it looked weird, so I put it back. I tried to make a few different work and that uh, chipper piece that says good stuff, I actually end up putting that uh, on the layout when I was done recording because actually that blue uh, color actually really matched the photo and um, what my horse was wearing. So I just put it on later, but you'll see that in the final photos. And um, yeah, here I'm just pulling out some stars that I had punched out a while ago. I just had them laying on the side and um, just wanted to put them on. And I'm also going to outline those hearts. And I also did that later on when I was done recording. I only did a few things, but I still want to mention them. So you're not going to be like, what is this layout? You didn't show us this, so I'm telling you right now. And now I think I'm going to start working on my title. And I actually have all the numbers. So I'm thinking maybe doing a number layout, like whatever amount of things I like about you, which some people do before. Uh, I think it's a nice idea. I'm not sure if I will do it, but I might. But we'll see. So I cut off that strip of paper and I cut it into some sort of arrow slash chevron piece or whatever. And... um. Now I'm going to pull out my title, or not, N yes, so I want to use that uh, chipboard word that says love, and um, I'm just going to spell uh, so big with those tiny elbows from the sticker sheet, so my title is just going to be love so big, and uh, super original, amazing, <laughs> but you know, my originality is not one of my strong suits when it comes to titles. So you will just have to deal with it. And here I just pulled out some stickers and kind of put them on my page. And that banner shaped sticker was just kind of nice to put in there. And um, this is basically my layout. I think I'm just going to add some bits and pieces, some tiny um, word stickers, which I love so much. And um, yeah, I'm quite happy with how this layout turned out in the end. Um, you know, it's uh, I love the photos. So for me, you know, using a photo that I like a lot really makes it a lot easier. Um, but you know, you should definitely go over to Emma's channel and check out her video, and I'm sure it's going to be great. So I, I, I'm I don't think I've mentioned this, but we're going to do this every other week, or at least that's the plan. So um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm just kind of going for my ephemera and cut apart pieces and see if there's more that I want to put on my layout because I feel like there's just something missing. And so I pull out some bits and pieces and I'm just going to stick them down. And I think I'm going to add gold color shine for this layout. Well, I don't even have to think about it because I use gold color shine <laughs> pretty much on most of my layouts. But first I'm going to stamp the date because you know, we need to know what day it was. And, um, oh, of course, some wood veneer pieces, which is just one of the things that I seem to do on all my layouts nowadays, which is not a bad thing at all. I mean, I love my little wood veneer pieces, so not a problem. And uh, I think after this, I'm just going to add some gold color shine, and that will be that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, this video. And I'll be back with more process videos soon. Have a great day.